Yezhivuv boshom domina chomye. That's Russian, motherfucker. Go home and clean the kitchen. Oh, sir, I'm Jewish. I pay people to do that. I would like to repeatedly kick every man in here in the balls over the course of the next several hours. I won't, though. I am still a lady. Women aren't funny. Your wife must have a sense of humor. She's seen you naked. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought we were truth-telling. Lady never kicks men repeatedly in the balls for longer than 20, 30 minutes tops because then their girdles start to draw blood. I just want you to know how much I admire you guys. I could never be brave enough to wear the same outfit every day. Told you about the language, you know the drill. Officer Peluso, ladies and gentlemen, Officer Peluso! He arrested me just the other night. I was outside talking to the guys, and Lindsay here whips out his wallet. What did you think I was gonna say? His penis? No, I was already out. Now, before we get any further, who made this? I made that. Me. It looks like mine. Mm. Unbelievable. Fried in oil? No. Ah, you ever use schmaltz? Same heart attack, different afterlife. <laughs> First time I ever let a boy go Christopher Columbus on my nether regions, it was in the Catskills. And this boy, he was my papa. I met one potential date and he was perfect husband material. I knew he was, because that's what his wife told me. <laughs> yes? No? Kind of an in-betweener. Reject? I'll marry you! Who's that? Cousin Shmuley, come on, man, we talked about this. <laughs> but my parents are people who do not like change. When my husband left me, my father said, go get him back. <laughs> like I'd accidentally left the barn door open and Bessie the cow had wandered off. <laughs> when I didn't go get him back, as instructed, my father was furious. My mother still hasn't heard he's gone, so she hasn't reacted yet. <laughs> I mean, she's been told, she just hasn't heard it. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Me either, sister, me either. There are so many questions spinning around in my head. Why did he leave? Why wasn't I enough? And why didn't they put the stage over there against that wall instead of over here by the bathrooms? So you wouldn't have to listen to every giant bowel movement that takes place in there. Hello and welcome to the telethon. Oh, you made a mistake calling a comedian. My refrigerator is not running, sir. Bye now. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the telethon. No, Rabbi, this is not a good time. L'chaim. <laughs> really? After what I just said about the bathroom? Walk of shame. Walk of shame! I'm really glad to be back in New York City, my home, where I have so many friends who hate me, so much family who are disappointed in me, where my children live until they abandon me. You're a dumb bitch. Oh, who told you? That's why New York's so great, though. Everyone you care about can despise you and you can still find a bagel so good nothing else matters. <laughs> who needs love when you got locks? They both stink, but only one tastes good. <laughs> Joel is a great father. And I just wanted to get up here and tell him that because we had a little tiff earlier this week about our son. Our five-year-old just got into collegiate and it costs so much we have to sell him for parts to get the tuition. <laughs> know this fucker, Dr. Spock. I had never read this, not until my son started doing this really weird thing where I wake up and he's staring at me like he's planning things. And, and I'm thinking, well, right now he's small, I can take it, but in a few years. <laughs> you ever rehearse an argument you plan on having with someone in your head and during the rehearsal you're perfectly reasonable and they're a jerk? And then the argument actually happens and they're reasonable, but that's not how you rehearsed it, so you become the jerk? <laughs> and one of the things he says is, trust yourself. You know more than you think you do. Are you fucking kidding me? That was his sage advice. You got this? Trust me. I don't got this. And now the stage manager is going like this. We all know what that means in show business. Whoopee! <laughs> whoopee time, everybody. Everybody make whoopee. No, actually, I think they want me to wrap it up. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm Mrs. Maisel. Thank you for giving. Good night.